Hi everyone. So I'm going to do a controlled pour on an 11 by 14 canvas. Um, I have a lot of people asking me what's the difference between a dirty pour and a flip cup. And I know if you're new, it's so confusing. So a dirty pour is when you put all your colors into the cup and you can either flip it or you can pour it this way. So that's the only reason we say dirty pour. You can do it over a tree ring, um, over a bottle bottom, or you can do a tree ring. That's your dirty pour. So with a flip cup, you're just putting it in and you're flipping it over. Usually you have white or black on the bottom. Sometimes you can use a lighter color color on the bottom if you don't want all that white. But with a controlled pour, I layer my colors a little differently and um, I'll show you that and you can put the color where you want it so once you dump your first cup you kind of know which order it's going to come out and you can pick and choose where you want to put it um, for this one here um, I am going to start with white I have some great colors here that I want to try putting together that I've never done before so um, I have Terra Vert which is another name for Viridian uh, this is more of a, um, it's not a phalo green, it has uh, just a hint of, uh, how do I want to say it? It will pair well with the olive green, which I'm going to be using. I also have some, I believe this is folk art or deco art, one of the two. Um, I find them all in the same aisle, but this is called the dark pantina, Pat not pantina, patina. Um, I've used this on a few other videos. This is the very end of it. I went to get more and it's all gone. So I have to make a trip to Raleigh to a bigger craft store where they have a little more paint. So, and then we're going to use Soho Olive Green. Um, the the Terra Vert Viridian is, is the Soho color as well. So then we're going to mix in some Olive Green. I have some um, Lucas Turquoise, which is an absolutely beautiful color. I have some Grumbacher Permanent Light Blue. Uh, these, all these paints you can find on Jerry's, um, Jerry's Artorama. I love buying from them. Um, their warehouse is 15 minutes from my house, so I usually get my order. If I order early in the morning, I get it the next day. So. And then this is um, Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue Hue. Uh, I laugh every time I read that because Cobalt Blue, um, to me, looks like this. It's like a purpley blue hue. This is nowhere near that. So I really wish Artist Loft would change the name of this to like Phalo Turquoise, um, Metallic Phalo Turquoise. It would make more sense. So, let's get started. These colors should jive quite well. I was thinking of an accent color, but I really didn't know what to put in there to break it up, and I definitely didn't want to use purple. Um, I thought about a sky blue, um, but this light blue is pretty close to the sky blue. So I'm just going to use those six colors with white and see what happens. Um, I could drizzle a little black in between the two layers. That may give us a little more definition, so we may try that. Oops, I want to spray my cups with the uh, WD-40 silicone spray. I don't use it to create cells, however you will get a few. Um, if you rub it in, it helps release the paint from the cup. But when I'm doing a dirty pour, I just leave it in there. And it is stinky, and please shake your can because I don't know where the sediment, if there is any in that, so. All my paints have treadmill silicone in them. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the Viridian. I'm going to call it Viridian because it just makes sense. <laughs> And I'm going to follow that with the patina. I 
I want to try to get a lot of layers in here so we don't just come out with um, blue and then green. <laughs> but I don't want to fill those cups either because we don't need that much paint. So I'm going to go very light on the colors. Okay, and here's where I'll put a touch of black. Let's see. And I even thought about sticking a little Prussian blue in there, but then you have too much dark. So after this black, I'm gonna go ahead and touch it with white again. Very little. And then I'm going to start with um, my Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue Hue. And follow that with turquoise. And then the light blue. So hopefully I can get one more round in. So I'll touch it with white. You can see how I'm layering the colors. I'm not pouring from up high um, because I want when they release from the cup. I want I like the striations a little bit. Um, sometimes I get stuck with a big clump of color, which irritates me. But hey. It happens to everybody. <laughs> so we have two metallics in here that I hope play nice together. Okay, and then the olive green. This pour should be quite interesting. Okay, then the black. You don't need a lot of each color, that's for sure. Then a touch of white. And I'm gonna save this white because I'll show you what I do at the end here. Okay, so I want to go with Hmm, I guess I'll do the metallic. I was going to mix it up a little bit, but change my mind. And the turquoise. Such a pretty color. And the light blue. Usually this light blue can give me problems, but we'll see what happens when I shove the white down through. All right, so when I say shove the white down through, and this is the reason I use squirt bottles, I can tip my bottle over and squirt hard, and it goes right through all the paint, which means it goes all the way to just about the bottom of that cup. So it breaks up the monotony of the layering, but not a ton. So I don't think I'm going to need all that paint, but we're going to try it anyway. So I'm going to just go ahead and pour it around. First cup gives me an idea what we've got going on, and then I can go from there. So if you're just joining me for the first time, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, click on the bell, and you'll be notified when I upload my next video. See how nice it cleans the paint out of the cup? <laughs> So I do have some cell action here. I'm kind of glad that I did put some black in there. So when I take my next cup, because I started there, I don't want to start there again. So I'm going to start here, and I'm going to bring it around and back up to the top. Because you want to try to blend um, these together. And I have a little bit left, and I'm going to go ahead and put that here and cross over. Now, with your third cup, this is where you have to make decisions. <laughs> um, 
I'm not fond of that, but I can pour that off. Um, I don't see anything going on here, so I want to try to cross over here just a little bit. I love everything that's going on here. Eh, the patina is there. It's awesome. So I think I'm going to start off the canvas and come through. I got to break this up. It's just too much. Okay, and I'm not going to use it all. So let me just slide it around a little bit to blend it all. And then I'm going to give it a torch. Because I can already see we've got nothing going on here at all. But I do have a little bit left in my cup if I need it. And I can spray that with that silicone to give me a few cells. But you cannot, I've never tried it, spraying it on the canvas. I just don't want to do that. So on your first pass with your torch, you're pretty much just popping bubbles. But then you can go in and try to find some cells. I've got some coming there. And I'm about five inches away from my canvas. Do not stay in one place too long. You'll burn your paint. And if you do burn your paint, please step back because those fumes are toxic. You never know with acrylic paint. Okay, so I feel like I need a band of color um, going across that, but what I see in my cup is the light blue, so I'm going to try to pour a little bit of that here. Okay, so that's going to give me the same as this. So let me see if I can pour a little bit more of that out. I don't want to lose that black because I want that black. Oh, that's going to make a gorgeous skin. And I do pick up my, my waist and make skins. So let me just come across. And I'm going to dump that off so it's not going to look like a circle. I think that's it. I think it's enough. So I'm going to move it to the middle, and then I'm going to head to corners. So I already know I don't need that one. I try to bring it back towards the middle. Oh, I'm so glad I put that band in there. Alright, so down here, I'm going to come down here. And I'm going to cup it with my hand because I don't want to lose all that turquoise. Back to the middle. You just have to be patient with your paint. Don't pour it off too fast. Watch what's going on on your canvas. Um, if you watch Ann Osborne, she's, she tilts very slowly. That's where I learned it from. That way you can pick what you want to keep and what you want to get rid of. And I love that right there. Let me just touch my corners up. I may still attempt to get some of that black off, but I want to see what's underneath it first. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe my hand off and get my torch back on there. There's just lots of turquoise come up through that black, and then they got black coming up through the turquoise as well. You see, I've got nothing there. And if you're using the chalks, be very careful when you're doing your edges. Um, I wait till I move mine usually before I hit them, but you don't really have to torture sides. If there's cells there, they're going to be there. So we got a tiny bit coming through that. 
so I know I can dump some of that off now. And I'll lose that little turquoise corner, and that's fine with me. But you want to be careful you don't stretch out too much, because you got to bring it back once you dump. It's going to be stubborn and not go. There we go. There's some turquoise coming up through it now. So now I have to move it back to where it was. Get my cells back. She is gorgeous. This, this color combination is phenomenal. I will have to try this more often. <laughs> the, pati the patina is going to look gorgeous on here when it dries. Let me just torch that corner again. And as this sets, it will develop a little more. You don't get everything all at one time. So give me a thumbs up, share the video, We're getting close to our 10,000 subscribers, giveaways, giveaways, um, leave a comment, isn't that just so pretty right there, I love that, it's so pretty pretty. Um, also check me out on Facebook, I post the pictures of dried paintings. Shop on my Etsy store right now. I'm running a big sale, 25% off. Use the code BIRTHDAY to get your 25% off since it was my birthday month. And shop with me on Amazon. You can get your torch, your underpads, the washing machine tray, cups, uh, my airbrush that I use on my flip and drags, popsicle sticks, um, squirt bottles, Floetrol, uh, the WD-40 spray. Uh, there's just so much there, and it's and it's all the stuff that you need to start. Um, there's also glue on there if you want to go ahead and do your mix like mine. Check out my tutorials; they're in my playlist, and I show you how I mix my paint. And join me Mondays at 9 p.m. I'll be live Eastern Time where you can ask me questions while we're pouring. And um, it's fun. We did a first one uh, this Monday. We had a ball, so we're going to try it again. Of course, I won't have them while I'm on vacation, but join us this Monday. We're going to be mixing background paint and doing a string pull. So thanks for joining me, y'all. <laughs> have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.